So first of all, we are going to start with the pattern of the footwear you are seeing on your screen right now. So after masking the last, you draw your center line. Then, as always, you see this line here running through the toe cap to the other side of the last. So now, the point where the center line is intercepting that line or where they met at this point, we are going to place our tip on that point. Then draw a line down to the feather edge so after drawing that line after drawing the line the next thing we take a measurement from this point that same point to somewhere here I'm going to measure one and a half inch one and a half inches if you want it to be smaller you can reduce it to 1.2 inch but I'm using from here to here 1.5 inches so measure from here to this point measure one inch from that same point from your center line measure one inch see it here from here to this point one inch then take another measurement from this line here to somewhere here again one and a half inch or one and a half inches so just to make sure that the line we are going to draw at that point is straight from here to here one and a half inches from here to here one inch then from here to here again one and a half inches so now let's join the two measurements from here to here together with a line now the next thing we are going to do is to take a measurement from here to somewhere here four inches four inches from the back of your last so here is the four inches from here to this point four inches so mark it at the feather edge now we are going to join that point to this point here so from here we join it to that point on the top of the last so let me make the line visible So you see what we have and with that we are done with the whole sketch. So you see what it looks like. So the next thing to do is to cut the pattern out and then develop it. So let's do that. Okay, now fold a cardboard paper into two equal parts that will contain the pattern and then peel the pattern out from the last. So after peeling the pattern out from the last, align the center of the pattern, that's the center line on your pattern, to the edge of your folded cardboard paper and take your time to press the pattern on the cardboard paper avoid too much crease so after doing that use your ruler to retake the lines just to make sure they are still intact
So now the next thing we are going to do is to add a lasting allowance and I'm going to be adding, you see this point here, you have to give it a curve, give it a curve. So let's add our lasting allowance and I'm going to be adding one and a half inches, one and a half inches as the lasting allowance. So after doing that, I'm going to step full. I'm going to step full the pattern before I cut so that it won't move or be moving while I'm cutting. So after that, cut the pattern into shape. Then after cutting, remove the step full pin. Remove the step full pin and then you have the full pattern so you see what we have here so mark the pattern facing and give it a mark so we are done with this let's proceed this is the sole we are going to be using for this project it is a already made sole it's a rubber a rubber sole so and this is a macro four millimeters which we are going to be using as our insoles so now use your shock then mark the edge of the soles and then stamp it on the macro and you are going to have a perfect outline of your insole repeat the same process with the other side Then after doing that, cut them into shape. So after that, gum your insoles to your leather and then carefully fold them. After the folding, you cut off the crease at the back of the folding. So for our small leather for our footbed, place your sole on a leather, mark out the shape they measure from here to here six and a half, six and a half inches. 
it can be um, up to 7 if you want then reduce the size by 0 0.3 inches 0 0.3 inches you see what I have so now I'm going to cut it into shape so this is what I have I'm going to place it on the leather again and then mark out for the other side of the foot so after that apply your gum attach and then you stitch so they are ready now let's mark out our pattern so firstly you mark from the leather you are going to use as your reinforcement or the leather that is going to give you the shape of the pattern so make sure it is a light leather so after marking you turn the pattern the other way to mark for the other side of the foot after marking you have to cut this particular one into shape completely so you see what i mean you have to cut them into shape you see it so let's proceed now go me to the leather you are going to use as your upper So after that, you're going to apply leather around the edges because we are going to fold the extra leather in, which is going to be um, a trim to the edge of the pattern. So apply gum to the edges on both sides. After that, cut off the excess on this side, cut it completely, and then on this side, you are going to leave a folding allowance of about um, 0.3 to half inches, and also on this side. So you're going to cut, leaving a folding allowance away from the first leather we cut into shape hope you understand what i mean so now cut slightly on this two edge these two curve here and then you fold in gently and carefully make sure it is neat after that you turn to the other side That is after folding here. You turn over to the other side, which is here, and then repeat the same process. After doing that, you press it with something to make sure the edges appear very neat so remember to remark the facing of the pattern because it is going to help during the last time so you, you repeat the same process to the other side of the pattern
so with that we are done with this step let's proceed to the next one so now we are going to line the upper now so this is my landing so i'm going to gum them to my landing and after that i'm going to stitch So now the next thing to do is to stitch the edges round. So now I'm done doing the stitching and I have cut off the excess. So you have to stitch before you cut off the excess lining. So let's proceed. So don't forget to mark the center of your pattern you see i've punched the center so i have to transfer it to the pattern because it is going to help me during the last turn so don't forget to do that now i want to explain something to you so you see this this is rubber band and then set the front now i'm going to place my nail i'm not going to place it here no i'm going to come down to somewhere here so that it won't be visible after last time it is not nice having that hole after the whole process so after doing that you put your upper to your last and then cut off the excess and also mark the area where you are going to apply your gum it is going to help the outcome or the finishing look of the footwear so cut off the excess mark where you are supposed to apply your gum and after doing that you apply gum on your insole and also on the pattern area and then you last the pattern so once you have applied the gum on the insoles and also on the pattern you last you last it So you see what we have let's proceed apply gum on your soles and then on your insole and then you couple the footwear So this is what we have arrived at. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updates because more videos are on the way. So have a nice day and see you in my next video.